Hey guys, welcome back in the kitchen. You're cooking with Kola on Team McClary Cooks. So today, you guys, I am preparing some beef ribs. And on these beef ribs, I'll be using some smoky salt and cracked black pepper, adobo all-purpose seasoning, Kinder's caramelized onion seasoning, as well as some garlic and onion powder and some sazon. You guys, I'm gonna dress this thing up with some black pepper as well. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so the first seasoning we are going to go in with is the Kinder's caramelized onion burger seasoning. You guys, we are going to season that baby up like so. Okay. You guys, just a disclaimer, if I'm out of breath or seem short of breath, that's because I'm trying to film this video with no oxygen tubes, okay? All right, we're going to season them up like so. All right, after we have generously seasoned these ribs with the caramelized onion seasoning, you guys, I'm gonna go in with some adobo all-purpose seasoning, okay? I'm just gonna go on it like so. Just quick and across, okay? I'm gonna go in with some smoky salt and cracked black pepper seasoning as well. Let's get that on there like so. You guys, I may not use the regular black pepper since this one has pepper in it. Okay. Let's get that on there and cover it up. Alright. We are going in with some onion and garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna go in with the onion and garlic powder just like this. That's an even coating of the garlic and onion powder. And we are gonna go in with some sazon, you guys. This sazon is going to make these ribs look nice and beautiful, okay? Doesn't really have a taste, but you guys, it gives a beautiful golden brown color to your meat, okay? Now, I'm going to grab a fork. Let's flip these babies over, okay? Flip them over like so. Let's get them in there. Just like that. All right, you guys. We're gonna go in backwards. Let's go in with the sazon first, you guys. That gives it an even coating of flavor, and you guys, your flavor will also be evened out at the end. All right. The onion and garlic powder. We are going in with the smoky salt and cracked black pepper. This stuff is amazing, you guys. This is my first time ever buying this this season. And next season, I'll be stocking up on it, okay? Let's go on with some all-purpose season, the adobo all-purpose, you guys. And last but not least, let's go back in with our caramel caramelized onion burger blend, okay? I'm only using this one, you guys, because I love the onion flavor that it has. And you guys, you can find this one at Walmart as well. Go on the seasoning aisle. Spend about three, four dollars. It's nothing, right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is sit this one off to the side. I'm going to season my other one up. And you guys, when we come back, we'll be sticking it in the oven at 450 degrees until golden brown or fork tender. Okay. All right, you guys. Our meat is now seasoned and complete. You guys, we are going to stick the lid on these babies like so. You guys, so far so good on no oxygen. Not short. Okay? We're gonna stick the other lid on here like so. Now we're gonna stick them in our oven as stated earlier on 450 degrees until golden brown and or fork tender. Okay? Let's stick them in there now. You guys, I also wanted to show you a sneak peek of what I was working on behind the scenes. You guys, I have made several of these aprons, you guys, and I am proud of the work that I am doing. You guys, look at these aprons. I love them. How about you? Let me know that in the description box below how you feel about these aprons, you guys, and what color you may want to see next. You guys, we are back, and we now have our ribs out of the oven. You guys, they are nice and tender, you guys, and we are going to go ahead and put some sauce on these babies. Okay, I'm gonna put sauce on the three ribs that I have in front of me 
and I'm gonna leave the other one without sauce, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of water in the sauce that I am making behind the scenes, you guys, because it is my secret sauce, okay? I'm gonna finish make this up. I'll finish stir that water in there like so, all right? And what I'm going to do next is come before you with my sauce already mixed, and the only thing I'm going to add in front of you guys is some red pepper flakes. Now that I have my red pepper flakes, you guys, I'm going to sprinkle some in there like so. I know you guys can only see a little bit of the bowl, okay? But what I'm going to do is stir that in there with my brush like so, okay? While I'm stirring that in, you guys, I'm going to go across those ribs just like this. And then after I put my sauce on you guys, I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to help slide these bones right out of it. Okay? Let's dump it on there just like that and then brush it on. Yes. And the same with the last one, you guys. As I stated earlier, I'm only going to do the three that's in the pan in front of me with the barbecue sauce. All right. And the others, we're gonna leave that one plain, okay? All right, you guys, I have my ribs out of the oven, you guys. And as you can see, I have sauce on the three that's in front of me. And I have the ones with no sauce right here on the side. You guys, this is how I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna pair this with something and we'll be right back. You guys, we are back with the final results plated. You guys, we have our field peas here, along with some beef ribs and some white rice. Let's drop some parsley flakes on there just like so. And you guys, now it's time to eat. If you like what I've done, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm back in the kitchen. Until next time, I'll see you soon.